peaceful living in this kind of just what they say. Look how beautiful and macklin. Yo, what's good, what's good, what's good? It's your boy, man. What's poppin' with the population? How's everybody doing on this marvelous Monday? Matter of fact, happy affirmational Monday, man. I hope all is well to you guys in the neighborhood. If you haven't already, go check my affirmations and, you know what I mean, go tap into the affirmations to get that daily perspective for the day, week, month, or year. Yours today is day eight. Of the neighbor of the 40 day, 40 night neighborhood juice cleanse. Let's get it. Eight days in, and we feeling marvelous today, man. We feeling marvelous, man. I feel amazing. I feel energetic. I feel like I could just go run a fucking marathon right now, man. I'm feeling wild, good, man. And don't even help that this. It feels like this juice fast is just going wild fast. You heard like. You know what I mean? When you first start juice fasting, man, it's gonna feel like it's taking forever because you haven't done it before and it's still you're still in that disciplinary mind state. But once you elevate and graduate and evolve to where it's just like this beautiful, immaculate experience that you can't wait to do or wait to partake in, it just it's just man, it's just unexplained. For those out there wondering, like, damn, how did you get on day eight already? Well, Honestly, day one, episode dropped super later than what it was supposed to. The fast started on August 22nd or 21st, which was a Sunday, which was last Sunday. Uh, that's when the fast started, and that's when I recorded. And but I kept, I kept debating if I was gonna drop a long episode for day one or a short episode. And it kept debating, and then I was just, you know what, time kept flying by, so I'm like, you know what, just drop the episode, you know what. Listen, creators, don't debate yourself, don't sit there and, you know, overthink anything, just drop it, you feel me, because then you're just going to prolong it. But, yeah, that's why, you know, day, I know, that's why days one and eight are so close together, because, you know, I dropped day one later than it was supposed to drop but yes that's it but yeah we on day eight man um eight days in and like i said i feel amazing um today is currently monday um day eight of the fast and i did on saturday night have a slight migraine I want you guys to realize that symptoms like migraines you know headaches fevers you may get a rash you may get eczema um you know you may get you may get like congestion in the nasal canals canals and you may you may even get brown chitis you may get some rashes you know you know what i'm saying you may get a plethora of different symptoms but symptoms really mean signals signals that your body is either detoxing or symptoms or or, or uh, signals that your body is trying to detox or cleanse itself you feel me and warning you what areas need cleansing and detoxing you feel me so don't panic don't go like oh my god i feel like crap i'm feeling low on energy or i oh i'm getting this migraine and stuff like that because that's natural that's part of it that's that's just letting you know that your body's actually really working getting to work and is really you know doing this cleansing thing you feel me so don't panic don't rush up out of the fast and think oh my god i'm getting all these some no because listen they subside they go away and the more and more and more you cleanse and, and make it be a part of your lifestyle you'll no longer experience those feelings those those signals anymore because you're because your body's gonna be much cleaner and cleaner as you implement this into your lifestyle on the daily and not just once every blue moon you feel me? now if you do it once every 10 years or something then yeah or once every two years or once every year then yeah but if you do it three times a year you know what i'm saying i really suggest people try to cleanse you know do a seven day cleanse like three times a year, the beginning, middle, and the end of the year. You feel me? It's crucial. Or you can do more than seven. It's up to you. But I just want you guys to realize this, that a real true fast, a real true cleanse detox is three days. It is three days. That is how long a, that's how long it is for a true fast. You know why? Because after three days, that's when your body starts to reset itself, especially the, mu the immune system. When you're partaking you in a fast, you want it to be three days or more. You feel me? Not less. One, two days, no. Three whole days or more. You feel me? The, and, and always remember, the more you fast, the more your body's going to be purging out of the body. 
and the, the deeper your body can get because you're giving it more time to truly cleanse it out now if you're just doing three three is like three is you know it's not too much time but you know especially if the body's toxic but you know it's better than you know doing one or two you feel me because the body doesn't really detox as much on a one or two day fast you feel me so always make sure your fast is three days i always suggest to people when you're fasting start off on the lowest level you know what i'm saying start off on the lowest level start with three days i'm telling you and then you can graduate up don't just go out the gate doing a seven or 20 or 30 you know what i'm saying it's to totally up to you now but i'm telling you it ain't what you think it is and you know what i'm saying i know people always say oh fasting is this euphoric experience and even i say it, but that's because you got to understand i'm i'm on my 10th anywhere from 10th to 15th fast so of course it's euphoric of course it's a energetic a macklin feeling now because i'm an og in the game kind of but you know to the to the average person that has never done it before and they and they first time want to do it and, they, and it's their first time doing it it's not that you know what i'm saying you might feel lightheaded you might get all those symptoms or aka signals which are going to make you feel a certain type of way you feel me but that's just your body detoxing on a one mental level spiritual level and physical level and more importantly a cellular level and to all my people that are afraid to get to lose all that weight you feel me especially my muscle bound people listen don't worry too much of course the first time first couple of times fasting you're gonna lose weight but it's not gonna be that significant amount whenever you lose a significant amount of weight that's just your body getting rid of waste weight your body's never gonna get rid of weight that you know muscles and stuff like that it's only getting rid of waste weight so even if you do lose muscle mass or whatever that's just waste weight that the body is getting rid of that means when you replenish the body off the fast you want to replenish it with things that are going to stick there and that's going to build up that muscle and build up the body uh give you that healthy weight truly or else every time you fast you're going to just keep losing the waste weight from filling yourself up with bunch of junk and stuff like that you dig so always remember that i know some of you ladies out there y'all thick and all that you feel me and y'all don't want to lose the booty and all that but i'm telling you you know what i'm saying you might be losing it because it's you know what i mean during the fast you might lose the booty you know what i'm saying just because it's, it's a lot of waste weight you feel me so you know what i mean when you're filling back up make sure you want to fill yourself and replenish yourself back up with living foods that will get healthy fat that are it's nutrition for the body and it's truly giving you that muscle it's truly giving you that healthy weight that the body wants and wants. some of you guys are looking crazy but i'm telling you you could get to a certain point where you could start to gain weight off of fruits gain weight off of eating your veggies and truly build muscle just look at your like not to come constantly throw out this comparison but just look at your Look at certain animals like gorillas and stuff like that. You feel me? So, and they just eat straight vegetation and certain fruits. You dig? So, just just take note to that, neighbors, and and just know. You feel me? That you can truly build the body that you want off of plants and veggies and, and fruits. You just have to detox and eliminate first and heal, and then you could build it back up. You know what I'm saying? Or is she going to go through this constant cycle of gaining weight, dropping weight, gaining weight, dropping weight? But if you want that steady, constant weight, then, you know what I'm saying, try to eat more living foods so your body can get used to it. See, when you just randomly out the blue start eating healthy, your body's not used to it. So that's why you lose the weight so fast. And, you know, it's not as, the, the healthier stuff is not as fattening and is not, um, and it's full of more nutrition and things that the body can use to actually stick to the muscles, stick to the bones, stick to just your body and period and feed the cells on the cellular. Man, like I said, man, it's day eight. I feel amazing. I feel immaculate. Um, I will, in between days 10 and 20, we'll have two workout vids and all that you dig. So stay tuned for that. And um, also, you know what I'm saying? If you guys get any, got any questions about fasting, just shoot them at me, man. I got them. I got you. anything that I know, I will tell you. You feel me? So, you know what I mean? And also, be careful who you're listening to on this YouTube. You feel me? Just in general. Because a lot of people don't really know true health. You feel me? So, a lot of people are one repetitive and they're just copying what they see or what they've seen in a book. And they don't really, they have never really experienced true health. So, 
you know, take note to that, man. But, a lot of these people, know, they may sound once great. Once you pull the curtain down, you'll see that they've really never healed anything or healed anybody. So take note to that, neighbors, and, 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 and just be aware, you know what I mean? Stay dangerous, man, because research takes more than just Googling, you feel me? Google don't have the answers, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes YouTube don't either, but, you know, you really got to dig deep, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of European science and a lot of people, a lot of European um, medicine comes from ancient times, but they just recreated it, you feel me, into their own thing. And they made it more prescription-based and not health-based, you feel me? So take note to that, neighbors. Young Nature, anything Young Nature tells you, it has nothing to do with prescriptions or medicine. It has everything to do with healing naturally, the healing the body naturally, healing the body and building the body back up naturally so you can feel like yourself again. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to feel these heart, these, these, these really bad headaches or you're going to feel these really bad migraines or, you know, you're going to get a fever. You know what I'm saying? That's just the body overheating and, and using excess energy to get out these, these hard to get toxins that just been stored in you for years you dig so don't quit don't backpedal remember it gets more and more euphoric the more you implement this into your lifestyle i promise you you're gonna feel alive you're gonna feel energetic every day is gonna go by so fast because you're you're truly enjoying it you're gonna look forward to fasting once you get out of that mindset of it being a disciplinary act or a chore that you you're partaking in every year Truly and genuinely, then you're that man. That's ball game. That's ball game. It's gonna be you're gonna be looking forward to it. You probably gonna implement it more. And I'm gonna tell y'all, tell you this. Listen, I get why a lot of y'all don't want to fast too. Because when you fast, especially the more extensively you fast, meaning the longer your fast is, and the the longer your body has had without eating all that stuff you was eating before, like the meats, the dairies, and all that stuff. When you try to, after the fast is up and you break fast properly and all that, when you try to go back on your fast, you're going to see how much your body rejects that stuff and you ain't going to want it no more. You feel me? I'm telling you that. Now I get why a lot of y'all don't fast because y'all don't, y'all not ready to give up those foods because, yes, you may not go back to the foods after the fast depending on how extensive the fast is but i'm telling you man just listen to the body this is the time to observe the body it's the time to give it what it truly needs to heal itself. and really see how magnificent the body is and let it truly work and do its thing and, and really operate in the temple you feel me listen this is god's temple you feel me so we got to take care of it you dig you know what i mean god this is god's temple man God's temple it ain't just up here, but it's all throughout the body. So we gotta take care of it, give it what it needs, provide, provide it more life, so we can really live this life to the fullest. Cause I'm telling you right now, you can't live this. There's no way you can live this life to the fullest, truthfully. Always feeling if, sick if your emotions is going everywhere. If you're always getting migraines and headaches, and if you're building up um, a chronic disease and within the body, you're, you you can't live this life to the fullest. All that living comes to a extreme halt when you uh when you start to start feeling them them symptoms on a much deeper level. So if you're right now, if you're having, you're being highly inflamed. You feel highly inflamed. You feel uh like. Like your body just not cooperating right, whether you got digestive problems, if you got IBS, uh, it, which is irritable bowel syndrome, if you got any type, if you're always getting migraines, if you if you got eczema, um, whatever you got, man, if you if you got signs of cancer or signs of tumors, I'm telling you, man, get busy. Even diabetes, man, let's get busy, man tap in man and make sure to stay tuned and, and send this to a neighbor man because we gonna get the whole neighborhood right man because there is no such thing as this east and the neighbor y'all see, see how i'm looking man y'all see the skin shining on the boy you heard stop playing man and more importantly than just looking good though i really do feel amazing man I truly like i can't even fake this man like like a lot of the world tells us to operate with this look good, feel good attitude, but I operate on a, if you feel good, you look good, you feel me? And that's how I feel, you know what I'm saying? And once you start to feel great, feel immaculate, feel marvelous, it's gonna start to radiate on the outside. Your skin gonna be shining, your hair gonna be, gonna be growing, you feel me? 
Um, you're gonna be more energetic. You're gonna have no inflammation. You're gonna feel. You're gonna feel more euphoric. You're gonna be on more of a high, like a natural high of life that you know drugs can't even take you on. You feel me? Like it's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be different, man. You, it's gonna really be much easier to ditch the past. You feel me? Because you are. Because you. You out here ditching all the toxicity and getting rid of all that toxicity out of the body. You know what I'm saying? The reason why it's so important to cleanse on a cellular level because you know we often carry a lot of cellular waste and toxicity within the body that we've been holding on to for years when we conjured up these bad experiences when we conjured up these bad uh, emotional traumatic experiences and uh, whirlwinds we was going through way back then you know and let me tell you I got tell you guys something um, do you guys know that not only you are the ones that's taking the crap but not it's not only your waste but your cells have waste too and you have trillions of cells within in, in the body that make up the body so if all those trillions of cells are are, are have have metabolic waste have acidic waste that they get rid of as well don't you think you need to be getting rid of that because if you don't that's what causes stagnation within the body that's what causes the the lymph to be stagnated you know what i'm saying not be able to properly drain the body and properly get rid of all that cellular waste because you're not cleansing and feeding the body things that will help further the detoxification of the body Last time i was sick or even felt bad or had was highly inflamed or any of that stuff you know what i'm saying i've been in this life for about four to five going on five years and you know what i mean probably the last time i even had a migraine was years ago you feel me so <laughs> you know what i mean well i had a migraine saturday but you know what i mean I'm talking about just regularly on a regular day, just randomly without even cleansing or fasting, having a migraine or headache or any of that type of stuff. You feel me? Because just remember, whenever you get those symptoms or those signals, remember I said they're signals. Those are just signals telling you that the body's either trying to detoxify or it's in the state of detoxifying and cleansing. You feel me? So that means that you got to give the body a break from eating. And chant, like I said in the last episode, channel that energy into healing. You feel me? How do you channel the energy with your fruits, veggies, and herbs? Mainly your fruits and your um, your herbs. And stop digesting. You feel me? A lot of y'all are like, well, I can't eat and cleanse because you can't do both simultaneously, especially if you're eating um, things that are hard to digest. If you're eating, right, your body has to focus on digesting. And the heavier the food and the harder it is to digest, the more energy it takes and the more focus it takes for your body to actually digest that food and try to absorb it and then try to get it out the body. So if it's focusing all of its energy into digestion, do you think it's going to have any energy to truly detoxify? Your body needs to have energy to detoxify. So if it doesn't have energy, then it's just going to delegate it to the most important thing at that moment, which is digesting. You feel me? You know, your body will just create the waste and let it build up until it gets a chronic state. And then you'll have to have no other choice. But you don't never want to wait till you get into a chronic state to want to cleanse. You want to always practice prevention. Always take preventative maintenance on the body so you could just live out a vital life and have be more vibrant. Have less stagnation going on throughout your life. Less, uh, more mental clarity. More, um creativity and just just being feeling being and feeling alive genuinely not just saying it we're not just trying to speak it into existence but actually taking the time and putting the work in to actually be alive for all my people doesn't matter who you are man woman i don't care what condition you are you can fast you can fast it doesn't matter what you have man you can fast fast you got any questions don't hesitate to ask your boy man i don't talk about health or try to you know what i mean do i don't do this fasting episodes just for me or just to get views or any of that stuff i do this for the people you know what i'm saying so we can all live this life to the fullest because how i truly feel that's how i feel everybody should be feeling you know what i'm saying i feel alive i feel vibrant i really when i say listen when people ask me how i'm doing I always say I'm still alive. You know why? Because I truly am still alive. I feel amazing, man. You know, so I really be feeling high. Like, 
like anything's possible, like nothing can stop you, you feel me? And it makes you that much more dedicated, that much more focused on getting your, achieving your goals, you know what I'm saying? And, and staying on your mission. Like, like I said, it's going to be hard, but it always gets greater later, you feel me? I'm telling you, your first to fifth fast is always going to be tough, but it all, it gets, it gets greater, much greater and euphoric after that, you know, you know, so stay at it, keep going if you got any questions, make sure to tap into the series, all my neighborhood fast series, my juice cleanse series, and my water fast series, because I will be, th this is what it's for, to answer all your questions and, you know, give you an idea of what it's like, you feel me? And to, you know what I mean, have y'all tapped into that health and wellness gems, you can go get some neighborhood pieces. Get some neighborhood juices. Let me show you some of the juices. This is a neighborhood favorite right here. Yeah, it's that neighborhood favorite here. That's that divine grape. You heard? Like I said, a lot of y'all should go on the, on the juice fast, and your main fruits that you should be juicing with should be melons, grapes. Try to get seeded if you can, but if you don't, it's better than nothing. You feel me? Um, but try to get you know what I mean your grapes, your melons, all melons, papayas, cantaloupes, uh, watermelon, um, honeydew. You feel me? You could go for your, your cherries, you dig, um, your berries, the whole nine, man. So stay tuned. Go go go! make sure to go check out my um, neighborhood fact post on, on my IG and where I, where I will be giving you guys some health gems on how to take care of the body. It's your boy, Neighborhood Nature Boy. Peace, love, light, and much healing to all the neighbors in the neighborhood. Let's go. Get it. Health is the number one wealth, you heard, number one currency. We heal spiritually, we heal mentally, we heal physically. Now it's time to heal cellular, boy, neighborhood nature boy. And always, always, always remember. Whenever in doubt, check the neighborhood out, you dick.